man, man, man. I just knew this was coming. So apparently, Whoopi and the rest of the crew on The View, you feel me? That kind of rhyme, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to make their name like some type of, you feel me? You got to make their name a little spicy, you know what I'm saying? They Whoopi and the crew on The View also. But anyways, though, so look. Whoopi have some words, all right? And this is about Biden dropping out from the from the presidential race, which I believe that was the best thing he ever done for this country was drop out. So we're going to go ahead and watch what Whoopi and the rest of this uh, rest of her team, rest of the view, I don't even know all their names, but yeah, we're going I don't watch them, so I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and watch their points on this and see what they say cuz I know that they're so Biden, they're so democratic. Like they're so oh my gosh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and see what they say. Uh, without further ado, hit the like button to subscribe to no post notifications. Let's get it. Let's go. A lot of people are I'm excited. bored by it. I'm oh. telling you. I'm bored by it. I'm really? I, yeah, I'm bored by it. I'm going to tell you why. Mm. You know, the messaging that we have put out to people over a certain age is horrific. Mm. We have basically said, hey, you know what? We kind of think if you're over a certain age, you don't really have what it takes to do the job that you're doing. That's the messaging that we've put out. So I'm bored by hearing that. I'm also bored by people saying, well, you know, it's the next generation. It's still an unknown. We can believe what we like to believe. And I love Kamala and have defended her from day one. I know she can do the job. I would have preferred my Democrats to do this not publicly yes. and in everybody's space because that. what it did mm -hmm. was it had a sitting having to talk about this endlessly and not being able to say because we couldn't have two-way conversations about mm -hmm. this kind of thing mm -hmm. with just sort of being left so I'm bored by the by the oh my god is what's going to happen because I know that the American people regardless of who the nominee is going to be, it's going to be up to the people. The one thing and, I, I, for me, that was, yeah. that's why it's, when you know, I one thing I would, it was, yeah, I would say on the age thing is like, I worked in the white house under a very different president. It was chaotic, but every single white house, like the presidency is so different than any other job. I don't think most Americans think that if you're 80, you can't do any number of things. No, but, but we've made that, uniquely challenging. but we've made and that by the way, a point. Donald Trump, now it's on him. Now he's the oldest president. Well, I, I have distinguished yeah. be distinguish between Joy Behar at 81 and President Biden. I've said before that it's not the number, it's how the number looks on the person. And being and a host of well, The View is again, different than being the president. And, and again, it is saying is it? to people <laughs> of a certain age, yeah. because that's what the messaging has been. You're old, you're doddering, you're... Yeah. It, it really pissed me off. Not because I'm as close. Bro. Okay, hold on, wait. The video almost done. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let this lunatic finish. Okay, I need to stop calling people that. That's not nice. I'm gonna let this, um... <laughs> Just finish the video. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I'm as close, <laughs> yeah. but because I felt it was disrespectful. Yes. Well, I felt it was disrespectful. We, to people. Now I want us to spend and, the next three weeks talking about how old and demented Donald Trump well, is. Yes. Yes. I, I expect the press to ask the same questions about yeah. his, his uh, mental acuity. I wish I, I wish I believed that the press would change their colors. I don't think they will, and I think that's what's annoying me more than anything. New okay, okay, let's, let's talk about this. First of all, let's get this right. You're talking about Biden, you're talking about how you're tired of hearing about his age. See, at the end of the day, I know I made jokes and said, man, he's 81,000 years old. Woo -woo. Look, I I'm a content creator. I have to make, the, like, I want to make those jokes to keep the, to keep it entertaining. You feel me? But yes, Donald Trump is going to be 80 in office. But this is the difference between Biden and Trump. It's not that, because I'm black and I'm, and I'm voting for Trump. I'm, I'm voting for Trump and I'm, I'm proud to say that. Trump 2024, that's what it's going to be and that's how it's going to be. Okay? But the difference between Biden and Trump is that we have someone who is old and elderly and we have someone who is old who can take care of himself who can get through speeches who doesn't fall asleep doing rallies who don't fall asleep doing uh conferences who who actually can walk up one stair without falling see biden struggles to walk upstairs we have a man who who barely remember his sentences who barely can finish his, his sentences we have a man who just who just debated donald trump and it was literally like bro it was like what are we watching that had to have been probably one of the worst 
the bass I've seen yet by far. You feel me? I can't say by far. That, that's the first debate I've seen. But for that to be my first ever debate, it, it, it was like, bro, what am I watching right now? This man, Biden, is sitting here and can't even get through it. It's like, bro, it was like, who, like, am I listening to a 81 year old man or am I listening to a child who's just now learning how to talk? That's what we're getting at, bro. And Whoopi, like, I, I don't understand your logic behind it. See, I, I think women are majority voting for, for Kamala because she's a woman and they want the first. Black, you got to put quotations on black because she's not really black, but you, you want the first black woman into office. That's how you guys labeling it. And that's how, that's why she's going to get a lot of votes be, from women in particular, because I doubt that majority of men will vote for her. But there are some crazy men who, dis, who thinks that, oh, well, I don't want Trump. So I want the next candidate and that's going to be Kamala. Like th that's what I'm saying. It's so, it's so sad to me, bro. It's so sad to me. You want people to talk about uh, talk about Trump's age? Let's talk about Trump's age. Yeah, he's seventy eight years old right now, but the man, but the man knows exactly what he's doing. It seems like he has better health than Biden that Biden ever had during his during his term. To be real with you, it seems like Donald Trump take care of himself. You feel me? You like if I didn't know if I didn't know his age, I wouldn't guess that he was seventy eight. Be real. If I didn't know Biden's age, I would have guessed that he was in his 80s. Or maybe I would have gave him at least late 70s. 79, maybe. You know what I'm saying? 78, 79. I would have gave him that. But we're we're talking about we're talking about a man who who's not fit for the job. And then we're talking about Kamala, Camila, Katilla. We're talking about her who's definitely not fit for the job. You you y'all want a woman to run this country. That is sickening to me. That is I say that in my last that's sick to me, bro. I'm sorry. It just cannot happen that way. It cannot truly. If it happens that way, bro, which I know it won't. I know Trump got this in the back, and I know that God is going to be on our side with this. Like I said, I'm not a politician. I'm here for the truth. But I cannot have no woman who who was under Biden, who don't know what she's doing, and who's just not fit to lead a country. A country who's fit to who's not fit to lead a country, bro. We're talking about a leading a, a leading member to lead this country to lead us into our future to help us with our, to have a better future for kids to, to, so the next generation can grow up into something that is, that is worth living for. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm gonna teach my kids about faith. I'm gonna teach my kids about believing in Jesus. I believe that's the hope that I have in myself. I can't put my hope and trust in politics because it's all corrupt at the end of the day, but I continue to strive to want to learn more about the politics because I see truth in something. And I believe that that truth is something is Donald Trump. It's not in Camila Cotilla. It's not in her. It's not in laughing Kamala. It's not, it's truly not in her, bro. Y'all have to look at the policies. Y'all have to look at the future of these things, bro. Y'all going off y'all feelings. Y'all going off because she's a black woman and she's going to be the so-called black woman in America or first black woman in presidency, being a president. Like, it's just junk is ridiculous to me and it pisses me off so bad because there's so many people out here who is trying to vote for this woman, who feel like this woman is qualified for this position and she's not at all. She's not at all. Majority of Democrats are not voting for her, bro. She's not. I don't know who they go vote for, but they're not voting for her. It's just majority of black women that will vote for her because they see the skin color o over than seeing the policies. Over They see skin color over than seeing the fact that, oh, man, she, she supports this. She supports that. She supports this. Oh, no, I can't do it. They don't see that. They just see they see a little darker shade. I guarantee if you put a dark Indian in there, what well, well, she is, it's kind of crazy. I guarantee if you put another darker skin tone person in there, they're going to automatically say, oh my gosh, they're black. They thought by, they thought Obama was black. Make it make sense, bro. Anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. How you feel about Whoopi Thoughts? Do you feel like it's really Biden's age? Or do you feel like it's just his health? He has bad health. Like I don't want him, like, but bro, if he ran it, if he ran again, God, for, bro, God forbid, I don't think he would have made it through the whole four year term, bro. I'm being real, I don't think he would have made it through the whole four year term if he ran again, bro. And we would have been stuck with Cotilla, seriously. But anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the uh, comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Be your boy the pen. I love each and one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.